Cathedral Square is mostly quiet this weekend. In two weeks, the place will be busy for the annual Push for Peace, a community event to promote something that is sometimes hard to find. Understanding that violence is not the answer and you don't get away with crime. It always comes back to bite you, but it hurts the community, number one. It hurts families, it hurts individuals, and all around there's no place and no reason for uh, this type of actions to take place. Organizers argue with enough awareness and patience, a lot of the violence that's committed in the city could be prevented. And a lot of times it's over trivial uh, matters, trivial issues that don't even mean much. But uh, these young people, they get guns and they think that they're, that's the way to handle it. Or, you know, they run to gangs and think that the gangs are, are the ways to handle it. But we want to show them love and we want to understand that we can overcome, we can solve problems through love and communication. In addition to getting young people and community leaders together, it's also a chance to find simple ways in your own life to promote peace, a pledge to be more mindful of one's actions. Some people wonder what they can do, but you have people right around you, everybody does, that you have the greatest influence on. And it starts in your home, maybe at work, maybe um, at church or in your community or at school if you're a teacher, wherever you are with whomever you have influence with, share um, ways in which we can stop the gun violence. Push for Peace started about a decade ago as a way to find mutual respect and consideration. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.